Welcome to the Plant Breeding and Genomics Community of Practice webinar, How to Align Sequences. My name is Heather Merck, and I'm the Content Coordinator for PBG and your host today. So please help me welcome today's presenter, Dr. Candace Hansey. Dr. Hansey received her Bachelor of Science and PhD degrees from the University of Wisconsin-Madison in genetics and plant breeding and plant genetics programs, respectively. Dr. Hansey is currently a postdoctoral researcher at Michigan State University, where she, com where she is combining her background in plant breeding and bioinformatics to understand the genetic diversity in both maize and potato and how that diversity can be utilized to improve commercial production. Thanks, Heather. So the seminar today is going to be broken down into four parts. First, we're going to look at how to navigate through NCBI to obtain sequences for our alignment. The next thing we'll do is um, actually go through the theory and how to use BLAST in a web interface. Um, we'll then go through a few specialized sequence alignment scenarios and um, programs for those. And then we'll finish up with talking about next generation sequence technologies and the programs that are available for aligning those sequences. All right, so let's get started with navigating in CBI. Um, So our goal, um, say we have our favorite gene, and that gene is Tiacinte branched 1. And we want to find all other organisms with orthologs to that gene in them. The first thing we need to do is find the sequence for our favorite gene. And that's where we're going to start with in NCBI. All right, to get to this website, you can either Google NCBI, and it's going to be your top hit, or you can type in the URL that you can see right here. Um, and I encourage you all to go along with this exercise with me. I'm going to have screenshots on here, but I encourage you to do it live on your own computers. So we have a few things that we can do from this home page. First, you can see we have a link to the BLAST uh, web interface that we'll be using later here. Um, there's links to PubMed on this home page that um, are, are going to be of interest for people outside of this webinar, but here, you know, it's just where it's at. And then um, for, for searching for our sequence, this is the area of this home page that we're going to use. So NCBI has a lot of different databases, and we can either do a search with all of the databases or we can uh, select a specific one. We're going to select this gene database. And we're going to type in, see, is it advancing? There we go. We're going to type in ZMAs, an organism. So by placing this organism here, we can specify that we want to only find um, sequences from the gene database that are from ZMAs. But you can see when we do this, we get you know, thousands of sequences. And we can't search through all of those to find the one that we are interested in, the TB1 gene. So, we're going to specify a little bit further. And what we did here is we put this AND operator. And you can use an AND or an OR to make your search more specific. And you always want to have those in capital letters. So then when we do ZMAs as our organism and Tisente branched 1, then you can see all of our three alignments now are maize genes, and they're all annotated as Tisente branched 1. So we're going to click on this second link down, the second result. All right, so if we look at this page, for those of you who are doing this at home, you'll see, or on your computers, you'll see that this is about halfway down the screen. But what you can get out of this, there's a lot of information on here that has the, um, the NCBI reference sequence section. You can click on this source here. And that's going to take us to the GenBank results page. OK, so in this GenBank results page, we have a lot of different things that we can see. We have the locus name here. Um, we have various information about um, the organism it came from, um, who submitted this sequence. If you look further down, we have um, the actual sequence down here. You click on this CDS link, 
um, it will highlight down in the sequence where the coding sequence part of this is. We have the protein sequence, but most programs that we're going to use for sequence alignment, including BLAST, can't take this GenBank format, so we need to actually see it in FASTA sequence. So we have this link up here where we can click and get the FASTA sequence, or you can do this display settings and it will allow you to do additional formats other than FASTA. So for now we're going to just click on the FASTA link there. And you can see now we have this sequence in FASTA format. And um, for those of you who don't know, FASTA format is going to start with this greater than symbol. And then we have a descriptor here. And the next line will start the sequence. And that sequence will continue until the next greater than symbol if there was more than one um, sequence in a file. So this is a very standard format for um, bioinformatics type work, and this is what we're going to need for our blast alignment. 